the drivers of the harmful practices that affect children are several. When you talk about um, FGM, one of the main drivers is the cultural belief of the communities that these children come from, where the adults believe for one to be accepted and to have a sense of belonging, they have to practice that, that, that they have to practice FGM. Without going through that cut, a girl is not seen as having been initiated or gone through that process of acceptance into the community. And so parents will even force their children to go through that for that sense of belonging um, to that community. Um, the other thing that drives um, the issue of child labor, it is mainly due to poverty levels in these communities. You find that children are seen as uh, a source of income, uh, and therefore they are also incorporated into animal herding. For example, for the boys, they are sent to go and look after cattle, and uh, some are sent to go and do sand harvesting just to supplement the family income. And that means that they, they miss out on school. They're not able to go uh, to school and therefore miss out on education. The other uh, trend that we see uh, around harmful practices, especially early marriage, is that the girl child is seen as, as, as a source of wealth. So the whole issue of um, bride price, where the girl's family will give cows or animals to the family that she's getting married into, becomes an easy way of getting wealth for that family. So girls are married at a very early age, um, even before they're mature to get into, the, into marriage. And that means they have to drop out of school uh, to get married at very tender ages of teenage, which also tends to complicate their medical, I mean, to complicate their life health-wise because they get medical complications that come with early childbearing and therefore becomes a risk even in their later lives as they grow up to adulthood. So there are all those drivers around um, the issues of harmful practices. And I believe as we create awareness to the communities and sensitize more people, we can have a reduction in a big way of the perpetuation of some of those harmful practices that affect the children that we serve on a daily basis.